Let's do question number nine. So, how many consecutive zeros are there at the end of the integer obtained in the product? So, we need to find how many zeros are there in this product at the end. So, if you think about a logic to figure out how many zeros are in the end of this product, first step you need to do is you closely analyze the product. So, we can say that if there is a 10 in the product, we can say the num that product is going to end with 1, 0. If there is 1, 10 in the product, the the product is going to be ending with 1, 0. So, we can, we can conclude that the how many number of 10s are there in the product will determine how many zeros are there in the product at the end. So, what we need to find is how many 10s are possible in this product. So, if you closely analyze a 10 or if you prime factorize 10, we can say that 10 can be written as 2 times 5. So, a pair of a 2 and a 5 is forming a 10. So, that means we can generalize this as how many pairs of 2 and 5 can be found when you prime factorize this that much number of zeros will be there at the end. So the logic we're going to use is we're going to find out how many uh, twos are there in this product if you prime factorize it, as well as how many fives are there in the product when you prime factorize it, and how many pairs are possible with these two. Because a one, a two and a five will give give you a ten, right? So how many pairs are possible? How many combinations of two and five is possible? So that much number of zeros will be there at the end of the product. That's the logic we're going to use. So, if you closely analyze the product, we can see that there will be enough number of 2's. You can see, right? 2 to the power 4. There are 4 2's here. 4 to the power 8. So, every alternate number will have it. So, definitely, there will be enough number of 2 to combine with 5. So, what we are concerned about here is how many 5's are there in the product. That will give you the answer. You don't need to worry about 2 because there are enough 2's here. So, that for, for that reason, I'm not worried about 2. What I'm concerned about is how many 5's are there in the product. So, I hope all of you are clear with the concept, right? So, let's, let's try to analyze that. So, we can see a pattern here. 1 to the power 2, then it's 2 to the power 4, right? Power is a, a double of the number. 3 to the power 6, 4 to the power 8, right? So, the first power of, uh, first number with 5 there is going to be 5 to the power of 10. The power will be twice the number, right? So, in this number, how many 5's are there? There are 10. 10 5's are there, for sure. Next is going to be, uh, a number with 5 is going to be 10. Right? 10 is going to be the next number. After 5, then, it's 10. So, 10 is going to be having a 2 times 5 is 10, right? So, definitely, 10 will have a 5 here. And how many 10's are there? The power is going to be twice of this, which is 20. So, definitely 10 to the power of uh, 20 will have 25's. Because 10 can be written as 2 times 5. So, definitely there is 25's in this number. After that comes 15. That's the next number with 5, 15. 15 to the power 30. You double the number, right? Power is going to be 30. So, how many 5's are there? Definitely there are 35's. Because 15 can be written as 3 times 5, the whole to the power 30, right? So, how many 5's are there? There will be 35's are there. The next number is 20 and the power is going to be 22 times 2, which is 40. So, definitely there is going to be 45's. Okay? And the last number is going to be 25 to the power 50, right? This is the last number. And keep in mind, in 25, you should be very careful. In 25, there are two 5s are there, right? 25 can be written as 5 square. There are two 5s in 25. So, whole to the power of 50, correct? Which is same as, if you use the rule of exponents, there is nothing but it's same as 5 to the power of 100. So, there are 100 5s in this number. 25 to the power of 50, there are 100 5s are there. 100 fives are there. So, it's going to be 100. So, I'm going to add all of them up because our logic was to find how many fives are there in this product, right? So, I'm adding all of them. So, it's going to be uh, 10 plus 20 is 30, 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 40 is 100, 
100 plus again 100, that's 200. So total 200 files are there. So definitely there is enough tools, okay? You don't need to worry about it because every alternate number is having a two with a big power, right? Definitely there are more tools here. You don't need to worry about it. So the, the combinations of two and five, definitely there will be 200 combinations. So there will be 200 tens. So number of zeros, at the end or consecutive zeros at the end is going to be option D is the right answer. Option D is the right answer for this question.